let's do a short quiz on this first isocons are equal to a product lines b total utility lines c cost lines d revenue lines first product lines i've already told you iso means iso means equal and quants means quantity quantity produced so these are called product lines as well next increasing returns to scale can be explained in terms of external and internal economies external and internal diseconomies external economies and internal diseconomies d all of these it's a external and internal economies what happens is when the factors of production are increased to increase the output and you are having internal and external economies your output tends to increase more than the increase in the inputs and this is the case when we are in the stage of increasing returns yes that's the answer increase in all input leading to less than proportional increase in output is called a increasing returns to scale decreasing returns to scale constant returns to scale or both increasing and decreasing returns to scale yes the answer is decreasing returns to scale because your output is increasing but not in proportion to the increase in inputs law of increasing returns is applicable because a indivisibility of factors b specialization c economies of scale d both indivisibility of factors and specialization the answer is d both because of indivisibility of factors and specialization consider the following combinations of inputs and outputs this production technology satisfies first increasing returns to scale diminishing returns to scale then constant returns to scale or increasing returns initially followed by decreasing returns to scale in this case please note that the labor at each level is increasing by 1 unit but the capital is increasing by 2 units at each level however if you come to the output the output is increasing by one level at well, one unit at each level so when the labor is 5 capital is 10 the output is 1 however when the labor is 6 that is it is increased by one unit capital is increased by two units the output gets increased to 2 at the third level when the labor is increased by one unit again the capital is increased by two units again the output increases by one unit again and this keeps on following so this pattern is constant and thus we can say that the firm is under constant returns to scale during second stage of law of diminishing returns a mp and tp are maximum b mp and ap are decreasing c ap is negative d tp is negative please remember that the first stage in the law of variable proportion the first stage ends where the ap is maximum and mp has already started following and the mp has already started following the first stage ends where 
AP is maximum and MP needs AP. So in the second stage, both tend to fall. So the answer here would be MP and AP are decreasing. Let's check. That's the answer. External economies of scale are obtained by A, a firm, B, a group of firm, C, small production, D, society. The answer is a group of firm. Yes, this is because external factors accrue to the whole industry, not only to a single firm. Since these factors are beyond the control of the firm, they accrue to the whole industry. If they get better transport facilities, the whole industry gets better transport facilities. If they get better labor, skilled labor, the whole industry gets skilled labor. So on and so forth. So these external economies of scale accrue to the whole industry or the group of firm. When output decreases by 20% due to increase in inputs by 20%, this stage is called the law of A. Increasing returns to scale B. Decreasing returns to scale C. Constant returns to scale D. None of them The answer is none of them because in none of the case have we studied that the inputs increase but the outputs decrease we have only done the cases where the input is increasing so is the output the only difference is in the proportion of increase but in no case have we done that the inputs are increasing and the outputs are decreasing External economies are enjoyed A by large producers only as firm expands C both of them D none of the above Yes by both of them by large producer or by small producers as they tend to expand External economies can be achieved through a foreign trade only, B superior managerial skill, C extension of transport and credit facilities, D external assistance. We've already done this point. It is because of better transport and credit facilities. Let's check. That's the answer. External diseconomies arise due to growth of ancillary industries, high cost of technologies, Increase in the price of production or uh, factors of production, D, none of them. The answer is high cost of technologies. We have seen that we tend to derive diseconomies from all of these. Even when the factors, the price of factors of production increases, we tend to get diseconomies. When the cost of technology increases, we tend to get diseconomies. Even when the growth of ancillary industries happens, we tend to get diseconomies. But a better choice here will be high cost of technologies. Law of diminishing returns is applicable in A. Manufacturing industry, B. Agriculture. C. Neither manufacturing industry nor agriculture. D. Any economic activity at a point of time. Yes, the answer is D. Any economic activity at a point of time. 